this is a match that a young wrestler dreams of, don't you think? A chance to, you know, get in there and mix it up with a heavyweight champion He'll of the world? Mix it up, but it's quite obvious he's not putting the belt on the line just in case anything does come out of this. Well, that's right. I mean, the last the last champ that did that, well, I can think of two guys that did that. Larry Zabisco, he lost the AWA title in Japan when he did it. And Mike Tyson, he lost three boxing titles <laughs> when he put his titles up against a guy he thought was going to be a walk in the woods. 50 to one shot. James no. Buster Douglas, you get out of that action? Brother, I still have money I haven't folded off of that match. Is that right? That's right, brother. Wow. I knew it. I trapped hold the wall. Buster Douglas. See you, Tyson. Hey, the bottom line is right here. Getting back to this fight. You didn't like a uh... Vance. Jerry the King Lawler has asked that you all please keep in mind this is not a title match. Well, he made that very clear. So let's get back to Lawler's stand-up. You didn't like that before. You know, I when I when I'm around Jerry Lawler, I, I've got to really admit something to you. And that is I I just feel like such a fool. <laughs> and that is because, as, as I said, and at least I had the opportunity to say to his face, I really was probably his biggest supporter in the entire sport. Is that I mean, I would supporter? go on TV, I would talk about Jerry Lawler, say Jerry Lawler beat Ric Flair, Jerry Lawler beat Hulk Hogan. And I would really try to educate people on just how great this man was. So what's your problem now? My point is that that after he had a go round with Kerry Von Erich, December 13th in Chicago, Illinois, and here's the Gator, here's Steve Kern. Go pizza. Hey, Look at this. Pizza there. Steve Kern delivering this little pie here. Oh, All right. Steve Kern, he's going to want to watch Jerry the King Lawler. South Reddy, the referee. He said, Steve, what are you doing here? And he said all he did was deliver a pizza. And Lawler's going nuts. Lawler screwed himself right into the ceiling over this. Lawler, Lawler does not like the idea of having Steve Gator Kern. Look, Kern, you might be that. a pizza delivery boy in your full-time job, but I'm a professional wrestler. Now you get your tail back there in a dress room before I come out there and put you in the back. Things heating up right he away. He is not going to sit there during my match. Referee, do your job. Get him out of here. I'll tell you what, Lawler's losing it. Lawler is losing it. I mean, this kid, Robbie Idol, he has not exchanged one blow with Jerry Lawler. And just because of the presence of Steve Kern, Lawler has come absolutely unglued. Lawler! Lawler! Referee South Coretti, he's You've trying... got a very important match coming up with Steve Kern. He needs time to scout you. I'm letting him stay. The referee South Coretti says this is nothing more than, than, than a man scouting another man. There's nothing wrong with that. So what's the matter with him? Well, all right, Lawler, he, Lawler, he's done. Oh, look at this! He's gonna get caught in the roll-up! You better pay attention to what's going on. You better pay attention to what's going on in the ring, not out of the ring. Oh, man! We almost had one of the most major upset in all of professional wrestling. And hey, look at Steve Kern, he's loving this! He is absolutely loving this, and Lawler has lost his composure. I know it's no walk in the park, but uh, oh, it doesn't look like it. Shut up! But Jerry Lawler has come absolutely unglued over this. Lawler and elbow in the middle, standing headlock into a hip roll by Idol. Reversal nicely done by the king, Jerry Lawler. And Lawler, he's looking for Steve Kern. And Steve telling him, you don't have to look very far to find me, brother. I'm right here. I'm looking over your shoulder. Every time you look around, I'm the guy you're going to see. And look at Lawler. Look at, look at the arrogance of this man. And Steve Kern saying, nicely done. But you'll never pull a stunt like that with me, homeboy. Not in your wildest dreams. It'll be a whole nother walk in the park when he gets in there with Gator. Ah! 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 And listen to Waller, he's, you know, he, 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 he 
can't be distracted by the crowd. And he, all right, now Lawler and Kern. You know, Steve really isn't saying a whole lot. You don't have to. He's just sitting here scouting Jerry Lawler. You're going to get this kid hurt. You know that? And Lawler, he, Lawler has screwed himself right into the ceiling of this arena. That's it for you, Kurt. Ah. That is one of the most devastating things you will see in all of professional wrestling is when Jerry Lawler comes down with that piston punch. And now he's going to hook him up. He's going to take him vertical. Oh, baby. And every time he does something, he says, Steve Kern, this is you, pal. It may be Robbie Idol going up, but it's you. Just another walk in the park. I'm in the park today, brother. Just another walk in the park for the king out there, taking him to school. Big boot followed by the elbow and out. What was that? No, it was just, no, Steve just got up, stretched his legs a little bit. A little do -si -do in there by uh, Waller. He wants nothing to do with him. He is all talk here. Jerry Lawler, I'll tell you what. Over the past year, Jerry Lawler and I, we have had our differences of opinion. But I guarantee you this thing, Jerry Lawler, my friend, is not all talk. Well, right now he is. Him and Kurt, this goes way back to here. Oh, I know. In Florida just about three months ago. And I'm telling you, it went into the parking lot right on down the street. Is that right? hadn't separated, it was out of control. I know for a fact that Lawler doesn't want anything to do with Kurt right now. Well, I know that Steve Kerr would love to lay a major fanny kicking on Jerry Lawler for a couple of reasons. One, to become the unified heavyweight champion of the world, and two, just to do it. Just to put that kind of hurt on Jerry Lawler. Just do it. Yep. I think Steve Kern would love just to lay that kind of punishment on the king, Jerry Lawler. This is for you, baby. Look at this. Oh, DDT, and down goes. Robbie Idol, and did you hear Lawler? He said, Kern, this one's for you, baby. I mean, Lawler has virtually dedicated this whole match to Steve Kern. Waving to the fans there before he laid it in now. And there's that piston punch. You know, there are times when Lawler throws that, he's actually hurt himself. He's broken his hand a few times doing it. But he says it's always worth it, because at the other end of it is the winner's end of the paycheck. Now South Carolina, he's warning Jerry, he said, open up that fist, Lawler, or I'll throw you in this match out of here. Lawler said, oh! Heads up move by Idol. Very good move by, by Idol. Idol. But was pistol punch gonna hurt that much, because here he comes right now, baby. Oh! He took Lawler over. Rookie mistake. He telegraphed that one, and Jerry Lawler was there to meet him. This yep. is the move. That's Jerry it. Lawler says, I patented that move. That's you look it. in the Library of Congress under pile driver, Daddy, and you're going to see the name of Jerry the King Lawler right next to it. Yes. Hi, everybody. I'm Lee Marshall, along with Jerry the King Lawler, the unified heavyweight champion of the world. However, King, if there is one man who can take that belt right off your waist, you must admit to me and everybody here, it is Steve Kerr the Florida heavyweight oh, champion. Lee, Lee Marshall, you're so full of ignorance, it's coming out of your mouth if you think that uh, Steve Kern stands a chance of taking the world heavyweight championship away from me. You know, you've heard the expression, dumb blondes, right? Yes. It usually applies to women, right? Normally, yes. Well, uh, it also applies to people like Steve Kern. They're these, like, these uh, surf boys or beach bums who have laid out on the beach too long and that son has baked his brain obviously because if he thinks for one minute that he's going to be able to take this unified world heavyweight championship from me he's got another thing coming because do you realize that while he's out there laying on a beach getting a suntan trying to look pretty for all these nasty little hairy legged girls that he tries to impress brother i am watching tapes i am in the gym working out i am studying my opponent every single minute and kern Brother, you're gonna, I'm going to take you to school, and that's a promise.